So when Python or the Python interpreter encounter an error, um, they don't just tell you there is an error. They try to tell you as much information as possible about this error so you can fix it and you can repair it. Now, understanding this return message from Python takes a little bit of skill. And in particular, you have to understand what a traceback is. So my goal here is to explain or at least give a little preview of what a traceback is and also anchor this lecture as a reference point for you later. So if you get a traceback that you don't really understand, it's likely that actually this information, the information you need is below, or at least we've tried to do it this way. So here are some examples of tracebacks. If I divide 1 by 0, I'll get a 0 division error. Python is telling me that uh, it's impossible to divide by 0. Same thing if I was asking for 5 mod 0, then it would return the same error. So in this case, it's actually quite easy to figure out um, that what the content is of this message. It's actually very easy to look back in your program and figure out that this has to do with a division and then find back in the program where the division is. But Python does not just tell you what the ultimate error is. It also tells you that it comes from a certain file. And this file here, so you have to understand a little bit what it means. STDN is for the standard input and here it's module. So it means it's really at the top level, if you want, of the input. But via the interpreter, this has little sense because there is only one line that's inputted at a time. So it has little option. So let me give you a slightly more complicated example. Um, that is definitely a preview on the rest of the course. So here I define a new function divide and I can divide um, three by five and this would tell me how many times five fit inside of three and this would be zero. But I can then be sneaky and ask for a divide of one by zero. And that gives me, again, a traceback. It tells me that the ultimate error is a zero division error, but it tells me a little bit more here. So you see there are two lines here instead of the one line that came before. So how does it, what does it tell me? It tells me that the ultimate error came from the divide function, which was located in the module module. So it's giving me a trace back of all the source of the error. So it's this line is closest to where the error happened, and we arrived at this line because we were at this line before that. Okay, so it's important to understand this mechanism of nesting back uh, the to to uncover where the error was coming from, if you want. So this is. A basic error, a zero division error, and this is the mechanism of traceback explained. So if you look below in this file, um, the file that you will find below this video, you see more examples of error messages. So you can see here a key error because I'm accessing a key that does not exist in a dictionary, an index error because I'm accessing a certain index that's not well defined for that particular list, zero division error, a type error, etc., etc. So you can see different errors, and I'll, I'm likely to add more as we go. Um, so you will, uh, you're welcome to tell me also new errors that you find that you found confusing or unclear at first, and I'll update this file. But most importantly, later on in your programming, if you find an error, and you, it might be in this list, uh, and this should be helpful for you.